Hi, I'm Daisy and I'm here with Riding Warehouse today to show you how to safely put on and take off a horse blanket. I'm here with my horse Four and while I do know him and his habits, it's always important to remember that horses are unpredictable animals and we should always act with caution. So the first thing you'll need to consider before you put your horse's blanket on is what weight of blanket they'll need or whether they even need a blanket at all. This is determined by their body weight and then their living conditions and whether or not they have access to a consistent blanketing schedule. Once you've determined that your horse is a good candidate for blanketing, you wanna make sure that they have the right size blanket. To do so, you're gonna get a friend and a soft measuring tape and measure from the center of their chest to the middle of their tail. So for all our blanket content, go check out our learning center. Now that we know what's going on our horse, it's important to look at how it's going to go on our horse. Right now we're in the cross ties, but normally you'd be blanketing your horse in their home so they won't be secure. This means they have the chance to run off or move. And so because of that, we wanna put the blanket on front to back and then take it off back to front. Commonly, blankets are a scary item for horses, so we wanna make sure we act confidently and safely to prevent any accidents. Our first step in safely putting on a horse blanket is to fold it into thirds or fourths like this so we can easily slide it over their back like we would a saddle or a saddle pad. Once it's on their back, we'll look for the fleece spot and line that up with their withers. Then we can go around to the front, connect the Velcro if it has it, and connect our clips with them facing in. This is because if they're gonna rub on a fence or something, we don't want them to get clipped to it and ultimately get hurt. Then we can grab our tail flap and pull it all the way over the back to the horse's tail. And then we'll go back to our belly straps. Oftentimes, they just cross underneath once and you can tell whether these straps are diagonal or vertical if your belly straps are gonna cross or go straight. So we grab those, cross those, attach them. Some blankets will have a belly flap and if yours does, it'll commonly have three straps, but again, just depends on what your blanket has. And then we go back to the back of the horse and this blanket has leg straps, but oftentimes they'll come with both leg straps and a tail strap and it just depends on what your horse needs. If they're very subdued, they might only need the tail strap, but if they like to play a lot, they're gonna need leg straps to prevent the blanket from twisting and turning. So once we have them unclipped, we'll go in between the horse's legs and connect our straps to the same side that they're sewn onto. We wanna intertwine our leg straps once to prevent that twist. And again, clip them to the side that they're sewn onto. And so once we have those three steps done, if your blanket has a neck cover, you'll do that last. And it should be tight enough that there's not hanging space off the horse, but you don't want it to be so tight that they lose their uh, full range of motion. And so to take off the blanket safely, you wanna do your neck cover first if you have one. Then we go back to our tail strap or our leg straps and undo those two. And then I like to clip them back to the sides that they're sewn onto so that they're safely put together and easy to store later on. And then we go and undo our belly straps and fold our blanket forward either into thirds or fourths. And then we can undo our chest straps. undo our Velcro and we can nicely slide it off. And then once it's off, you can clean it and store it however you like. Thanks for watching and I hope I gave you a better understanding of how to safely put on a blanket and why we do so. For more how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel and for more educational articles, check out our Learning Center. And for all of your blanketing needs, head over to ridingwarehouse.com.